Did you know that a successful real estate wholesaler makes thousands of dollars per deal? Did you know that some even make hundreds of thousands of dollars per year? Well, it's true. And I'm going to show you how you can be one of those people too. Let's go. So in this video, I'm going to give you the secrets that I've learned over 10 years of wholesaling that are going to help you tremendously. Number two, I'm going to give you some real resources that help you now so that you can actually do this. And number three, if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you a surprise that will teach you everything you pretty much need to know that most people don't even know. So what is real estate wholesaling? Let's first start by answering that question because I got to just give you a quick foundation. So real estate wholesaling is basically when you find someone with a property problem, you know, someone that is maybe in divorce, foreclosure, they're losing their house, they got relocated, someone died, something bad happened usually, and they want to sell their home quickly for cash, okay? And so as a real estate wholesaler, you find these people with these property problems, you get the property under contract, and then you sell the contract or you flip the contract or you assign the contract to someone else for a higher fee. And you get what's in between, the money in between, or you get an assignment fee. So let me kind of quickly tell you how do we do that. So we'll give you a quick example because this is something that I've done for many years and I've made a lot of money at. So I'm gonna give you a quick example. So one of my first wholesale deals that I had, I had found someone that was in foreclosure. I had a coach and he showed me how to find people with property problems and reach out to them and gave me a little script to say to them. And so I was targeting people that were in foreclosure. And I came across this um, property that was in foreclosure. They were a few months behind on their mortgage. I got them to give me a contract. I, you know, just, I'll just use an example, say it was for $100,000. Then I was able to find someone that could fix and flip the property because it needed some repairs. And I made $5,000 on the deal. So basically got the property for under contract for $100,000 and just flipped it to another investor for like $105,000 is what they pay for it. They fixed it up and then they sold it for like two hundred dollars some odd thousand dollars but I got the five thousand dollars and so it just opened my eyes to wow I didn't really have to do that much and I made five thousand dollars so let me tell you how you could do the same thing the first thing that you want to do is pick your niche or your niche many many years ago when I first got a coach and a mentor he told me all about wholesaling and how I did this thing and he told me okay people have property problems and you need to find motivated sellers and people that have property problems you help them find someone to buy their property they can just move out they don't have to pay any real estate commissions like he gave me all of these great reasons why they would want to do it but the first thing that i needed to know is who was i going to target you know was it going to be people have problems well, there's lots of people that have property problems and they're just problems. Like if they're in foreclosure, if they inherited a house that they don't want, such as probate cases, if they're going through a divorce, many times, of course, in a divorce, two people were living there, but only one person is staying. So many times that one person cannot afford the mortgage. That's another example, bankruptcy. Obviously, if someone is in bankruptcy, they usually cannot keep the house and they would love to sell it so that at least they could get some money. OK, and I could go on and on about all of the different types of property problems that a person would have. But I just gave you a good list. OK, and that's where you want to start. You want to start targeting those people that have a property problem and being a solution for them. And I'm going to tell you how you do that. So you want to base your niche or your niche on where you are. OK, so for example, at the time I was in Connecticut, I was living in my parents basement. I've shared my story with some of you guys that I was fixing and flipping houses in Atlanta and making a ton of money. But I had no idea what I was doing and ended up losing all of my properties, going bankrupt, bunch of foreclosures. And I had to move into my parents' basement in Connecticut. When I was down on my luck, had no money, bad credit, foreclosures, I started wholesaling. And this is what is amazing. You do not have to own any property. You do not have to use your credit and you don't need very much money to do this. So what you need to do is just decide who are you going to help? Okay. Who are you going to be a solution to? 
Is it other people? Like, for example, I had foreclosures. I was in my parents' basement. I was a total loser. But I had a story that could relate to people because I had let all of my homes go into foreclosure because I didn't know what to do. I could now help other people not have that experience where they did not lose everything. And so my coach taught me how to target them, how to tell them what the benefits were and how to actually help them out of this situation, almost in a way that I would have loved to have had when I was going through my situation. And so I really was a person in the community that was helping people. I was giving, you know, helping their credit. I was taking this mess off of their hand and I was giving it to someone that wanted the property and could fix the property and could pay. So there were just so many benefits to this. I started with foreclosures. I started targeting people that were in foreclosure or that bef or before they were in foreclosure, when they were behind on their payments, similar to the situation that I had. So that was my niche when I started because I could relate to these people. So many people were going through the same thing and it was a great way for me to make money. So you wanna do the same thing. Look at the area that you're in, look at the market that you're in. Can you help people in foreclosure? Can you help people in divorce? Can you help people in probate? Can you help people in bankruptcy? Can you help people that are being relocated? I mean, I could go on and on and on. So that's for you to answer. Who do you wanna help? Super easy question, answer it, and then we'll be on to the next thing. Now that you've decided what your niche is, okay, so in my case, I went after foreclosures. Let's just say you're doing the same thing. Now you have to be consistent, and this is super easy to do. Just make sure that you are doing this, you're committed to it, and you're like, okay, I'm going to help these people, I'm going to call them each week or each month, or and I'm gonna be consistent with this. This is super easy, and it doesn't cost you much money at all and you can make a lot of money okay i'm gonna give you a real some real numbers here so when i was wholesaling um, i was actually at first i was going to school trying to get a degree and then i was doing it even when i had a job even with my job i was able to get probably about a deal a month worth about five thousand dollars so i was able to make about sixty thousand dollars extra a year while working a full-time job Okay. And then eventually, of course, I've quit my job. I've been free. I have lots of properties and things are awesome for me, but this is where it started. And so this is what I'm telling you guys, just be consistent with it. If you're going to put out signs, for example, and attract these people, if you're going to send letters, if you're going to go on Craigslist, if you're going to go on Zillow, wherever you go. And remember, I give you all of the training right here for free. So if you need more training, if you need, you have more questions, I have the answers for you here. So once you decide though, just be consistent. Call every week or do whatever activity you're gonna do each week. If you're mailing letters, make sure you mail them not just one time, you mail them you know, several times and that you're consistently going after this because after about the second or third month, this thing really pops. But many people give up too fast and they never see all of that money. That's really why there's not a lot of us doing it and why you know, those of us that do do it and stick with it, and again, it doesn't take very long, why well, I mean, we make a whole bunch of money, so do the same thing. And then last but not least, you want to connect with a network. And I have the perfect network. You already know a successful investor that's looking for deals, that's connected to tons of deals. So get connected with us and our group. We're just one option though. Wherever you are though, there are people that are real estate investors. I'm certain of it. All you need to do is go on to Google, go to Meetup, go to local real estate investor association meetings, sometimes referred to as RIAs, and go to those meetings and start connecting with people. There are tons of people doing it. You're probably just not familiar with all of these people, but we meet, we have groups, we have organizations, we do lots of deals, and you wanna be connected with a group of real estate investors that are actively investing in real estate so that you have a place to send your deals. and. I'm that answer. If you don't know anybody else, you already know one person. You literally can reach out to my team and my group and we're always looking for properties pretty much everywhere in the whole United States and even some islands. If you reach out to our group, we definitely are looking for hungry people that are looking to do deals and we have some options for you. Okay, so now you have the steps of what you need to do to become a successful wholesaler. I've given you all of the secrets, all of the tips, all of the tools, and all you need to do if you want more is go to a free training that I have for you, noellesfreetraining.com. There's a link below that you can go through and get a full training on all of this 
for free to your success.